G'day, it's Farmer Jay, and welcome back to Dairy Air Farms. Today, I thought we would take a look at dairy cows specifically, and how real dairy cows compare to those in Farming Simulator 22. And we'll also look at the most common breeds of dairy cows in North America and in Europe. Even though there are only two breeds of dairy cows in Farming Simulator 22. So, first of all, to give you an idea of how much care a cow needs, a cow will, a dairy cow on average will go through 10 kilograms for those on the metric system or 22 plus pounds of food a day. In addition, cows need water, obviously, and a cow will drink, to give you a rough idea, a bathtub worth of water per day. Now in the summer when the months are hot, that will go up. But overall the average is about a bathtub's full of milk. Cows are also milked for about 305 days out of the year. The remaining 60 days, they are taken out of the main herd and they are put into a separate barn. This is because they are bred once a year and those 60 days are to give them time to finish their pregnancy and to give birth to their calves. And then for the first week or so, the calves drink from their mothers because at that point, the cow's milk contains the most antigens and antibodies and things that will help the calf develop a good immune system. After about a week or two, the calves are taken away from the cows, put in their own barn, and the cows are returned to the main herd, where they continue a regular milking cycle. The calves at that point are usually fed powdered milk much the same way as a human mother will breastfeed for a certain amount of time and will then switch over to powdered milk for their child. Now in terms of times of milking, farmers try and keep this fairly consistent. From a 10 to 12 hour period, most dairy farmers will start milking their cows between 6 and 7 in the morning or so. Some will be as late as 8. And then their next milking will be about 10 to 12 hours later. This is to try and keep the routine as, well, routine as possible for the cows so they don't get overly full between one period or another, which is very uncomfortable for the cow and can actually hurt its milk production. A barn, a modern barn like we see here, usually have the most up-to-date milking equipment. And believe it or not, it can take as little as two to three minutes to five minutes to milk a cow, depending on the breed of the cow and how much milk they're producing. 
compare that to the old days where farmers had to milk cows by hand, and it could take up to 15 minutes to milk a cow by hand. So you can see how much more productive modern dairy farms are than their counterparts 30, 40 years ago. When I was dairy farming, we had an older barn which didn't have robotic milkers. That meant we had to take the milking machine from cow to cow and while it was still a hell of a lot faster than milking by hand, it's not nearly as fast as modern barns where the cow gets pushed, or I don't want to say pushed, that's the wrong word, enticed into the stall where the automatic robot uses lasers to detect the teats, hooks up, milks the cow, unplugs, moves the cow on and brings the next one in. And there are usually several of those stalls. So it's not one cow at a time, it's multiple cows being milked at a time. We milked a herd, or a mil we had a milking herd, I should say. By milking herd, I mean cows that were in actual production of about 80 cows at any given time. So that doesn't include the cows that are taken out of production to give birth or the heifers that were being re raised to be introduced into the milking herd. With a herd of about 80 cows, we produced Ooh. I'm trying to do the math in the metric system. And I want to say about 20 to 25,000 liters of milk per day. Sorry, let me just correct myself there. I didn't mean thousand, I meant hundred. So we produced about 2,400 liters of milk per day. Still, that's a lot of milk. I don't know why I said thousand. I'm getting confused between the metric system and the empiric system and trying to do the conversion in my head. To break that down a little bit further, back into terms that I remember, we were producing about 720 gallons of milk per day. Now, a gallon, well, we all know what a gallon of milk is. A gallon of milk is that jug you buy from the store. Or if you're in Canada, you buy, well, some places sell it in a jug, which is four liters, roughly one imperial uh, gallon, or they will sell it in bags and I know Americans always laugh when they hear that we sell milk in bags in Canada but it's a bag with four individual smaller bags inside of it each one containing a liter of milk so either way it works out to be about the same we also had Well, some extra cows at some time, and maybe sometimes a few less. It all depended on the herd size. Because a cow lives for about seven years or so, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter. It depends on, much like people, depends on the cow. So sometimes we would produce a little bit more milk, and sometimes we would produce a little bit less. But if you round the number up from seven, hundred and twenty, 
well, let's keep it around 720, or even 700 if it was a slightly slower month. 700 gallons of milk. That's 700 jugs of milk that you would find in your local grocery store. That's quite a bit of milk. Now we milked mainly Holstein cows. Why? Because the Holstein is the queen of dairy production. The Holstein produces about nine gallons a day or 30 liters a day of milk. It's got a reasonable fat content so it can turn that milk into dairy milk for the store and it can also be used for butter uh, and to an extent cheese or other things. To get paid a little bit extra from the dairy we would also supplement our herd with either Jersey or Guernsey cows which have a higher fat content in their milk which is ideal for dairies to produce cheese and other high fat products. In Farming Simulator 22 there is no difference between the two milking cows. They both produce the same amount of milk. They both consume the same amount of feed. And you're not paid on the fat content. But there are only two types of cows, milking cows represented in Farming Simulator 22. Holstein and Brown Swiss. So let's go through the different types of dairy cows. Just for fun and some interesting facts. And we'll take a look at what the main types of milking cows are and why they are used. We'll go through the list alphabetically. The first, outside of Holstein's, breed of cows I want to look at, are air shears. And air shires get their name from the county of Ayr in Scotland, where they were developed. These are your red and white cows. They don't produce quite as much milk as a Holstein, but pound for pound, it's roughly equivalent. They are very efficient grazers and take advantage of the rougher climate that you would find in Scotland, where grass is not quite as plentiful as it might be in other places. We had the brown and white cows in Farming Simulator 19, but we don't have them in Farming Simulator 22. The next breed of cows that we're gonna look at are the brown Swiss. Now we do have those in Farming Simulator 22. First, the term brown Swiss is a bit of a misnomer. Their coats are usually sort of a grayish beige color. And we'll quickly hop over the fence, mine the stack of hay. And we'll look at how they're represented in Farming Simulator 22. A little bit more brown than they are in real life but they're not a true brown color so it's somewhat accurate as to how 
they are in real life. Because you will find some with a darker brown color. They're a very strong and rugged cow, having been developed in pastures high in the Swiss Alps. And, sorry, my phone is asking me questions because it hears me talking. Um, brown Swiss don't produce quite as much milk as Holsteins. They produce 20 to 25 liters per day. The same as Ayrshire's or Guernsey cows but they have a very high fat content, which makes them ideal for cheese production. The Swiss government put a lot of time and effort into encouraging farmers to develop this breed in other words, the strong cows or the best cows were encouraged to be reproduced and bonuses were given to farmers to increase the durability of the herd. So like I said, they are a very durable cow. Sadly, in Farming Simulator 22, they're treated no differently than Holsteins in terms of their fat content and their milk production. But again, remember Farming Simulator or Farming Simulator 22 specifically is just a simulator and the developers kind of had to average it out. Especially when you factor in productions where it would have been very difficult to calculate the difference in fat between what this cow is producing and what that cow is producing. The next type of cow, sorry, um, is the Guernsey cow. And the Guernsey cow comes from the island of Guernsey in the English Channel. The breed is thought to have originated in France and been brought to the island by monks. They're very adaptable cows and they do well in close confinement where there's not a lot of grazing space and they have to be fed extra rations such as hay. Sadly, at least in Canada, the Guernsey breed has been declared endangered. Their numbers have declined dramatically in recent years. And Guernseys are distinguished by their tan and white coloring. Not the red and brown co coloring of an Ayrshire, though similar, and not the black and white of a Holstein. More of a brown than a red. In terms of milk production, they produce 23 liters of milk per day on average, with a high fat content very similar to brown Swiss cows. The final breed of cow we're going to look at, which is, again, like I said, we're taking a look mainly at European and North American cows, is a Jersey cow. Much like the Guernsey, it originally came from the island of Jersey, also in the English Channel, off the coast of France. Jerseys are generally a light, brown color 
similar to a fawn or very deer like they may or may not have white patches but they have one of the highest fat contents of all dairy breeds milk from jersey cows is perfect for cheeses ice cream whipping cream and things like that size wise they are one of the smallest breeds and they produce about 22 liters of milk per day so not a lot less than a guernsey cow we had on our farm the, the numbers varied it depended on the year and the affordability but we had about 10 to 20 Jersey cows, sometimes Guernsey cows, um, but Guernseys were harder to get than Jerseys. Jerseys are also very mild mannered and they were very easy to get attached to as pets. While all our cows had names, I still remember most of the names of the Jersey cows we had. Um, I know this might sound silly, but a bit like a dog or another type of pet, they would lick you and they would, they would seek attention. So they were very friendly cows, at least the ones we had. So that's, so that's a look at the main types of cows that are raised as dairy cows in North America and Europe. Yes, in other parts of the world, you'll find cows like Brahmin. And they have developed according to their climates. And are more adaptable to places like South America or the Asian continent, depending on the breed. but they're not represented in the game. And for the most part, you won't really see them in North America or Europe. One final thought, looking at these cows and having grown up as a dairy farmer, the amount of detail that Giants has put into these cows compared to the older breeds of cows in the game is incredible. They've got nice straight backs. They've got the good humps towards the rear where they're um, their legs are. Nice, good shaped udders. I won't go into the genitalia, but it's included in the game. And The only real fault that I have with the way these cows are represented in the game is, and we'll move around the field, they all have horns. Most cows have their horns removed when they're very young. This is to protect both themselves and the other cows around. I won't describe the process, but I imagine the reason giants left the horns on the cows is so they don't get criticized from <clears throat> PETA. But you will rarely, rarely find a dairy farm in North America where the horns are left on the cows. Oh, and the other thing that's missing is most cows will have ear tags to help the farmer identify the cow. If you've seen any pictures or photos, you've usually probably seen, especially Holsteins, a yellow tag hanging from the ear. 
That's just an identification number. So, that's a look at dairy cows, both in real life and in Farming Simulator. It's not something we usually cover on dairy air farms, but since we're a dairy channel, or I was a dairy farmer, I thought you might be interested in learning a little bit more about dairy cows. How much milk they produce in real life so that the next time you go to the grocery store and you see a gallon of milk on the shelf or sorry <clears throat> i'm canadian a eh? so it's supposed to be four liters not a gallon a eh? um but the next time you see a gallon of milk on the shelf you'll know what that represents in terms of the average cow's production. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you found this video insightful, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to be notified. As I will be posting more videos comparing farming simulator to real life farming like i've said in my description my goal is to try and bridge the gap between the virtual farmer and the real farmer so that you understand more of what's going on in the game and why giants can't simulate everything in a game using fat content as an example. It would require a huge amount of calculations and it would probably bog down the game to be able to calculate that. Who knows though, as computers get more powerful, maybe that will be something we see in future episodes. So stay tuned. Like I said, subscribe and ring that bell. And next week, we will take a different look at a different aspect of real farming. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.